it is answer A. The ball height decreases, the proportional energy loss in percentage remains about the same. The app recognises the characteristic sound of a ball hitting a tabletop via the microphone. From the time intervals of the impact sounds, it calculates the bounce height of the ball and from this the loss of height or kinetic energy with each impact. When the ball hits the tabletop, it is slowed down by the tabletop and deformed. As with a compressed spring, the tension of the deformation can be released by the ball pushing off the tabletop again and being accelerated upwards. It bounces off the tabletop. During this process, the ball loses energy, which is emitted, for example, in the form of a sound wave, i.e. the impact noise, or by heating the ball or the tabletop. The exact details depend on the material properties of the ball and the tabletop, e.g. their elasticity, but also on possible rotational movements, air friction, etc. The energy loss of a table tennis ball is determined by the ball's elasticity. With a table tennis ball, about a fixed proportion of the energy is released per impact. Try it with other balls or spheres. How do they behave?